a brief discussion on encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism. Encapsulation is the process of combining all of an object's attributes and methods into a single package. This is often referred to as information hiding or data hiding. In other words, other classes should not be able to alter an object's attributes. The outside classes should only be allowed to make a request that an attribute be altered. That's why it's very common to see a class definition contain set methods and get methods. It's up to the class's methods to determine whether the request is appropriate. Inheritance is the process of acquiring the traits of one's predecessors. In other words, you can create or define a new class based on an existing class. Let's, for example, look at a door. We can have a door class that has the attributes door knob and hinges and the methods open and close. We can define a new class called door with stained glass window and derive that new class based on the existing class of door. So door with stained glass window will inherit the attributes door knob and hinges and the methods open and close. And then all we have to do is add a new attribute called stained glass window or just window. Once you create an object, the new objects possess all the traits of the original object plus new traits. That's the essence of inheritance. And finally, polymorphism. If you think of everything as an object, the door is an object that needs to be opened or closed, but that open procedure or that open method works differently on a door than it does on a drawer or a bank account or a file or your eyes. So polymorphism, which literally means many forms, is the idea that every object has functions or methods. And let's say for an example, a door needs to be opened or closed. But the open method works differently on a door than the open method would work on a drawer, a bank account, a file, or your eyes. So the idea of polymorphism is that one open procedure can react differently to different types of objects.